Alrighty then, solving radical equations. We're moving on with our radicals. Okay. Um, isolate the radical, get the square root by itself, square both sides, solve for it, and then check. Now, I know you don't like this, but the reason why we check is something called an extraneous solution. It doesn't actually make the equation true. Weird, huh? So it comes out as a solution, but if we check it, it turns out that it doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to isolate the square root all by itself by moving this over here. And then we square both sides. Or, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 81. And that's already solved. So if I plug in 81 right here, I get 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. Okay, so I'm good to go. All right, give that one a try. See what you get. Don't forget to check. Okay, now square radicals on both sides. So we're going to, we don't have to isolate it. It already is. We're going to jump to step number two. We're going to square both sides, which is going to get rid of the square roots. So now I move all of the t's to one side, all of the numbers to the other, and I solve. Okay. Now I got to go back up and check. 5 times 4 minus 11 is equal to 4 plus 5. 20 minus 11 is the square root of 9. And this is the square root of 9. So yes, it checks. Check it out. All right, try that one. Okay, square root's already by itself. So square both sides. That's a two. So I get n squared is equal to n plus 12. So n squared minus n minus 12 equals zero the old factoring method. So I get n equals 4 or n equals negative 3. Now I gotta check. So I plug in a 4. 4 is equal to the square root of 4 plus 12. 4 is equal to the square root of 16. 4 equals 4. So that one's good. Then we do the 3, the negative 3 is equal to the square root of negative 3 plus 12. Negative 3 is equal to the square root of 9. A uh, problem. Not true. Okay, we're not dealing with, um, yeah, well, that's okay. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 does not equal negative 3, so this is an extraneous solution. Please make sure that you still write it down, but instead of Xing it out like I did so hastily, tell me that it's an extraneous solution. Okay. Okay, solve that one. See what you get. Okay, in some cases, none of the answers are actually true. Get the number by itself. Move that over. Square both sides divide by 3 I get y equals 12 so we check 3 times 12 plus 8 equals 2 that's the square root of 36 plus 8 equals 2 that's 6 plus 8 equals 2 14 equals 2 this is an extraneous so there is no solution to this problem. Look at that right there. How can a square root be equal to a negative? It can't! That's right. Okay, so pay attention to that. Practice. Oh. 
lesson check. Sorry, I was on a roll. I think I uh, used it too many times. See ya.